Proverbs chapter 24 says, although a righteous man falls seven times, he rises again. And that's a picture of perseverance, a picture of I'm not gonna give up. I might get knocked down, but I'm not knocked out. I'm gonna keep going no matter what. My name is Ebo Elder, and I'm a former world-ranked professional boxer. I don't consider myself to be a natural in the boxing ring. So I had to compensate for my inability with determination, hard work, and perseverance. Persevering through victory is easy. Everybody can do that. Anybody can do that. But when you lose and when you suffer defeat, that's when it's, it's the most difficult to keep going and understandably why. Nobody likes to lose. I hate to lose. But failure, I found, is really just an opportunity to grow and to learn and to get better. December 17, 2004, I fought a man named Courtney Burton uh, on Showtime. And at the time, Courtney Burton was ranked number four in the world. In the second round, I began to notice I was in way over my head. Courtney was bigger. He was meaner, he was stronger. I was gonna get beat up and probably knocked out, and I knew it. So the only thing I knew to do at that moment was to call out to God. I said, Lord, this fight's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be brutal, it's gonna be painful. And God spoke back to me, and he said, Ebo, if you don't quit, I'll do what you can't do. In the fourth round, my jaw, Courtney hit me with a big right hand, broke my jaw. A couple rounds later, I got hit with a body shot so hard it caused my kidneys to start hemorrhaging. I was internally bleeding. Um, as the fight neared the end, my eyes were swelling shut, cuts over both of them, bleeding everywhere. And after the 11th round, uh, I had nothing left. I was, I was at the very end of my, my, my strength, my conditioning. I had nothing left. And I remember my, my trainer, my corner man, praying for me in the corner, uh, saying, Lord God, give him strength to do whatever he has to do. I've fought with everything I had for half of the round, a minute and a half into the last round, and Courtney hit me with a big right hand. I fell back into the ropes. I, I was hurt badly, but my instinct, my eye of the tiger wouldn't relent. So I gathered together everything I possibly could, all the strength I had, and it was just enough strength to stand up. And as soon as I stood up, something amazing happened. And uh, you know, the commentator noticed it. He said that now it's Elder. The second head of steam. And what he thought was a burst of steam was in fact the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter one, verse eight, Jesus says, "You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you." And right there in the twelfth round, God indwelt me with His Holy Spirit and empowered me with His Holy Spirit. And immediately, my punches began to land perfectly with power and precision. And 30 seconds later, the number four ranked fighter in the world was knocked out. And I was blown away <laughs> at the faithfulness of God, you know, the goodness of God. And you know, I got a glimpse of His plans and purposes for every one of us and, and His faithfulness to do what we can't do if we just don't quit. So perseverance is essential in fulfilling the call of the Christian. See, God, He's called us to a life bigger than us. He's called us to things that we are incapable of without Him. And uh, perseverance is a necessity in, in making it to the moment, in making it to the miracle. Perseverance is essential.